North Idaho STEM Charter Academy was created at the request of parents and the community and opened in September 2012 to grades kindergarten through eighth grade. This school was originally created because parents asked Colleen and I back in 2003 to, to uh, provide more opportunities for students in both math and science and some of the projects that we were doing in our own classrooms. Also to raise the bar in education. Everyone involved has a passion to provide an educational opportunity that breaks through traditional education and positively impacts student success. STEM, also known as science, technology, engineering, and math, has become the new buzzword in education. What makes our STEM program different at North Idaho STEM Charter Academy is that we're a true STEM program. Uh, we're not a bolt-on or a buzzword type program. We do STEM every single day. We do our core projects, uh, subjects in the morning, but we do projects every single day without exception. What other districts or schools might provide just for their gifted and talented students or just in an add-on after-school program is an integral part of the day and the schedule and the mindset at North Idaho STEM Charter Academy. All students have these opportunities. It's not reserved just for a few students. Also, in a broader sense, what makes STEM Charter Academy different is the high expectations uh, for both behavior and academics. Our school culture is really second to none. Well, I just like the mentality here that it's okay to be smart. It's cool to be smart, whereas other schools that I went to, it wasn't really necessarily cool to be smart. It's encouraged by all the teachers and all the students here that it's great to be smart and try your hardest. And I just think that that's probably the best part about STEM and all the learning opportunities that you get. The actual name of our school is North Idaho STEM Charter Academy. And in my opinion, because it's an academy, the high work ethic, the strong work ethic, is really, really emphasized. Students treat each other very, very well, and the focus is on learning. It's cool to be smart at North Idaho STEM Charter Academy. Students respect each other when they get good grades and when they have a strong work ethic. The school is very caring. The children are very respectful. They're taught how to really take care of each other and respect one another. An educated person in our competitive, ever-changing environment will need to innovate continuously as new technologies impact our society and world. The creator of STEM Academy, the curriculum that we use here, actually said that what we are teaching students here at North Idaho STEM Charter Academy puts us in the top 3% in the nation as far as teaching STEM skills to our students. So that definitely equips us very, very well to compete in a global world. We've also recruited specialists in various STEM fields to present, mentor, and guide students through various projects. These include both Apollo and shuttle astronauts, engineers, pilots, scientists, local business experts, and entrepreneurs, to name a few. We think that we're preparing students for the jobs of tomorrow, jobs that haven't even been created yet. And the culture around here is geared towards that. And I try to approach it from the standpoint, uh, since we are a STEM school and we deal with science and the technologies, engineering and math, while I don't teach that directly, I try to instill in the, the hearts and the minds of my students an application of where to make those talents and those abilities usable and something that they can actually apply in society that would be most beneficial. Our mission is to prepare students through rigorous and relevant content, to be productive and successful citizens by developing a strong work ethic and the higher level critical thinking skills needed to solve problems in the real world. We have highly qualified teachers, including two recipients of the Giants Award, or Governor's Industry Award for notable teaching in STEM. Our teachers challenge students through a rigorous curriculum across all subjects, including reading, language, math, social studies, science, music and band, health and physical education, and model the character needed to be responsible citizens. Well, we also believe that creativity and innovation positively impact student success and that society really underestimates the capability of young students. They are sponges ready to absorb more than we can imagine. 
Our program changes the role of teacher and student. Students become problem solvers and teachers become facilitators and they create that culture of inquiry and help students to find their success. I teach first grade. A lot of what I teach, what's really exciting about what we teach here is that we teach so in depth into language and reading. Part of our language is learning the parts of speech. I did personally didn't learn parts of speech until I was in high school, you know, really in depth. And they learn what it is and how to frame a sentence and to understand each part of the sentence and what it means and why it's there. And then we get into writing paragraphs. I've taught first grade for four or five years and I've never once taught a first grader how to write a paragraph until I saw this curriculum and thought, oh wow, this is gonna be so exciting because they actually get to see it's not just a sentence. It's, these are my ideas, these are my thoughts. I get to put them into a paragraph and talk about what I wanna talk about and it's meaningful to them. We don't just do projects, we write about our projects. So a big part of doing our projects during project time at the end of the day is using what you learned in the morning from your reading and your writing and applying that to what you know about science and technology and engineering, as well as math, writing story problems and things like that. We do programming throughout the year, but then kind of as the assessment for all that they've learned and we do, there's a program called Scratch, and it, MIT developed that, and the students can use that to do some very incredible things. The programming of our we do's, they actually make them function through the computers and be able to program them with sound, and I mean, it's just like a whole programming system, so that's really a wonderful technology that we have here. Through project-based learning, curriculum is integrated so students understand the connection between subjects and their application in the real world. Our students spend every afternoon tackling an ambitious science, technology, engineering, or math project with real-world applications. My favorite subject is probably projects because we get to do a bunch of different things, like I'm in a project now called Mind's Eye, where we get to build all-terrain robots and program them. The Mars Rover Competition is sponsored by the University of Idaho in collaboration with NASA. It's the NASA Space Grant Consortium. And what the students do is they're provided with a kit of Legos, and their challenge is to build a rover that will accomplish five different tasks. The students learn torque, speed, gear ratios. They've learned here that failure is just part of the challenge. They don't worry about the word failure. I don't even think they, they think of things as a failure. They just see it as the first iteration or the tenth iteration. They know the word prototype, that this is our Mars rover prototype. It's the first one we've built, and we know that we'll change it and improve it over and over again. Today we had a teleconference with NASA and learned about our solar system. I learned that one of Jupiter's moons has an ocean. We also talked about what they do there in Houston. NASA has been incredibly supportive of North Idaho STEM Charter in many, many ways. The very first year, the very first day, they provided an ambassador who came and showed the students all kinds of space equipment. In addition, we've partnered with NASA to do an upload of computer programs to the International Space Station in a program called Zero Robotics. The students wrote code to control spheres on the International Space Station. And the spheres are little satellites that are about the size of a basketball that are controlled by carbon dioxide emission. So when the students did their code, they could propel the spheres around the International Space Station. We've done video conferencing with NASA to provide challenges and information to students. For example, one of the sixth grade classes actually did a video conference with NASA and were provided with the challenge to make a shoebox fly. They learned all about thrust and many different kinds of aerospace terms. And then three weeks later, they brought their shoeboxes that could fly back and showed them to the NASA expert and actually demonstrated and showed a PowerPoint and showed everything they had learned from the NASA expert. What I like most about this school is the technology and the different programs we have, like First Lego League, Lego Story Starters, and Invent Idaho. Invent Idaho has been in existence for over 25 years. 
It's a program that encompasses throughout the state of Idaho, students in grades one through eight. The program of Invent Idaho challenges students to think of their own problems that need to be solved and then innovate and create a unique solution to that problem. This is called the winner's cap. Well, I'm on the swim team and sometimes I find myself during a swim race trying to slow down a little bit to see where I am. This takes a lot of time off. This winner's cap can tell me what place I'm in during a swim race. So the winner's cap can time your laps, count your laps, tell you what place you're in during a swim race, pace your laps, and you can also listen to music through it. Our students have done exceptionally well academically. We're one in only six schools out of 167 schools in the entire state to be uh, recognized as an ID21 award, Albertsons Foundation award-winning school for creativity and innovation. Our students took home many awards in the last two years in both the first Lego League. We took home five trophies out of 15 in the state last year, six this year, including grand champion. We actually have a team that's going to Toronto for an international invitational uh, this year uh, in our, from our little school in Rathdrum. Uh, we're very proud of them. Our Invent Idaho competition, we've had students that have gone to state and actually won that competition as well. And they've gone to Boise and, and been able to display their inventions down there at the state capitol building. We have had students that have done well in Idaho Tech's Mars Rover, where they compete down at University of Idaho. We also provide First Lego League as a challenge to all of our students. First Lego League is an international competition in which students compete in four areas. The first is core values. My favorite part about FLL is getting to work on like a school project. This year I learned a lot about core values and how to work with your team and I learned a lot about the programming and about the robot game and robot design and a lot about how to present your ideas to people. The second area that they compete and the most obvious is with the Lego robot. They build a robot that is to conquer missions on a table and the challenge changes with a theme every year. My favorite part about FLL is probably the robotics that we get to do. And I love the robotics cart because you get to put creativity and ingenuity into your robot and make it do stuff that you wouldn't think it could do. We constantly reflect on our program and how we impact student success by delivering rigorous, standards-driven instruction and fostering a culture of high expectations. Our administrators at North Idaho STEM Charter Academy give us incredible professional freedom to make good choices and provide challenges and to try new things that will really challenge the students and give them opportunities outside of the classroom that they might not have experienced in any other situation. Being from the Seattle area, I've had a lot of encounters with the different types of parents, different types of students, different types of administrators. This is the best environment that I have ever taught at in 14 years of teaching and substituting because the administrators are teachers. They were teachers, they still are, and they teach us, they teach our kids, and having someone that knows what teaching is all about and being able to make sure that that's our job. Our job is to teach the kids and be able to have that time to teach. The response from the community has been exceptional. Um, it's actually been much more than we expected. Uh, we've had over 98% re-enrollment over, uh, over the first two years. We added 80 seats for next year, and we filled those already and have over 300 students on the waiting list. We're the first K-12 STEM school in the state of Idaho. We expanded to high school earlier than we thought we were going to, but that was really driven by parents and their, and their desire to have this in the community. So. We've been very, very encouraged by the response in the community in our little school. We invite you to learn more about our school by visiting us online at stemcharter.org.